What's up, Ellie Shadowlady here, and welcome back to Empires. Last episode, I sent my brave explorer Gary through this mysterious portal in search of crystals. And now, one week later, he still hasn't returned. I am starting to panic now, but... I can't just hang around and wait here forever. I have very important mayor duties to take care of back in Critter City. And also, I'm starting to run out of chicken. Ah, home sweet home. How are all my critters doing? It's nice to see that the city hasn't burned down. And my froggy villagers have multiplied. Look at all these new frog villagers. I'm going to have to build an entire district for all my froggy citizens. But before I can build anything, I need to clear all of these birch trees. And look how satisfying it is when they all disappear. Next, I built the houses, and I wanted to keep the green theme from the fishing hut, so I used the exact same collection of blocks to build a variety of different houses in the district, making sure to keep them all close together so that I could parkour from rooftop to rooftop. That is something very important to me. It is in the city building code that all rooftops must be parkourable. Voila! I know what you're thinking. It looks very ugly. And uh, that is correct. Yes, it does look ugly right now. But that's because we haven't decorated yet. Okay. You may have also noticed that there are fewer frogs now. And I'm not sure why that is. I think there may have been some incidents involving the berry bushes. But that's fine. Nothing a little bread party won't fix. And now we should really start decorating because I want to get rid of all this grass. I think it really clashes with the green roofs. And I want to keep the theme from the other district carrying through into this one with the stone floor. So I'm going to need a lot of stone. <laughs> oh. But luckily I have a tendency to hoard things. So in my attic here I should have plenty. Although things have become so much more difficult to find ever since this pesky corruption. Bad vibes, very bad vibes up there. No wonder people are scared of attics. Okay. Let's just get the stone and get out before I die. And I also want some andesite for a little more texture like over here. So I'm gonna go down into my own mine and try and find a pocket of andesite. <gasps> here. Yes, I'll take it. And it is times like these that I am so glad I don't use a stone pickaxe anymore. <gasps> oh my gosh! Is this what I think it is? I need to silk touch this for my collection! I have been waiting for this day a very long time. The emerald ore! My ore collection grows. I will just add this right here. And now all I'm missing is the rare diamond ore. But let's not get distracted by shiny things, okay? I have a duty to my citizens to complete the work on this floor. So I got to work paving the entire district with these stone streets to connect all the houses to each other. And this is very satisfying to watch from above. But you may have noticed I left a huge gap here. And that is because my frogs need a giant pond. Voila! The perfect centerpiece for this district. And next, I want to add a load of puddles around the paths because the stone is a little bit unfrog-like. And we'll start just putting some little puddles around, like so. And we can even put some lily pads in some of them. And I think these look even better when they're irregular shapes, like this. These just look so realistic. I think my frogs are gonna love it here. The vibes are immaculate. Next, we need to light this place up appropriately because darkness equals mobs and mobs equal no more froggy villagers. And you guessed it, I'm going to light this place up with glowberries. So I will just place them strategically around. There. And nope, it's too dark here. Hang on. Uh, <laughs> Mm, see pickles. Oh, that'll do it. This is an emergency situation. I need pickles, and in return, you can have two buckets. I'm sorry. There. Now that this place is all safe, I can start decorating for my frogs, giving them all names, and moving them into these houses. First of all, I wholeheartedly agree that Wart is a cute name for a frog, and that is why I will name my first villager Wart. Now I just need to follow Watt home and find out where he lives. I will wait for night time and I will stalk him back to his home bed. This is creepy, but I have to know in which bed he sleeps. Perhaps this is his bed. Nope. Okay. Which one is it? 
Tell me which one is yours. Is it this one? Oh, you. One eternity later. Oh, caught you. I found you. I know where you sleep now. What? This is your house. It's beautiful. Now all we have to do is make it match his personality, which I have decided is that he loves emeralds because that is what I have a lot of in my inventory right now. Oh, and let's have some glow berries because what hates torches? Relatable. He also has a fish tank with some cod. Oh, jeez. Get back in there. No, get back in. Oh, <clears throat> it's okay. He didn't see. He doesn't have to know what just happened to his fish. There. Perfect. What is so happy he wants to leave immediately. Okay, so clearly my interior design efforts are not being recognized by these frogs. In that case, I will just decorate all of their homes identically and then I will give them names. I know it's highly unlikely that anyone will actually enter any of these houses to check, but it's important to me that every single one is decorated just in case anyone does check. Nobody's gonna know. Nobody's gonna know. They're gonna know. How would they know? How would they know? How would they know? I can't. I can't. I just, I can't. I hope these stupid little frogs appreciate all my hard work, making this nice for them. And now I will give them some names. So, unfortunately, this is my last name tag. And because my empire is full of only butchers and fishermen, I don't have any way to trade for name tags. So I'm gonna have to go on a little mission over to Stratos. Somewhere around here, there is a man who sells name tags and I need to find him. What the? Oh! Look at the atrocities that humans commit against their own kind. Such horrors. Now, where is the one with the name tags? Oh, here he is. Hello. 20 emeralds, Jezza. Are you having a laugh? Okay, well, I happen to have loads of emeralds from my booming berry trade. So, you can take all the emeralds you want if you just give me the name tags. Oh my gosh. Jezza, you've cleaned me out. Blow my neck. Now, my children, let there be names. We've got Tommy, Cricket, Tiana, and Naveen. Verdi, Poison. And your name can be Mossy. And you there shall be Kermit. And finally, Snotilius Snottle Snotzelot the Third, a true icon. Speaking of snot, there's one finishing touch I want to add in this place that will make everything perfect. Spa blossoms. I don't know if you know this, but they emit some kind of snot particles, and that is exactly what we need. Now, unfortunately, they are quite rare, and I don't think I currently have any in my possession. No, not a single spa blossom was to be seen on this day. So, I'm going to have to go on the prowl in search of them to lush caves further afield. If I can spot some azalea trees on the surface, that indicates that there is a lush cave below. So, keep your eyes out, boys. Oh, <gasps> there! A single azalea tree. Oh my gosh. I should not be trusted with these wings. Yes, I'm taking them off now. I could have died. Now, where is the cave? Do I just dig down? Surely not. Hmm. <gasps> there. Hopefully, there are some spa blossoms down here. Oh, it's beautiful. Let's grab some of these spa blossoms for my frogs. Any more spas? <gasps> that was close. That is definitely one of my nine lives gone. Let's be careful and collect the rest of these plants without dying. Now let's take all these goodies back to Froggyville. We will start with these small drip leaves, which I believe I can place in the water here. <gasps> Beautiful. And finally, the spa blossoms. These are going to emit lovely particles that will fill the air with magic snot. And it looks great. It looks so magical. But now there's the small issue of military defenses. It's not glamorous, but somebody is going to have to extend the moat around Froggyville. And that somebody is going to have to be me. So let the time lapse begin. 
And as if by magic, the moat appears, and Criticity is safe again from unknown threats. That means the Frog District is complete, and my work here is finished. Let me know what you guys think in the comments, and I will see you next time on Empires. <laughs>